This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Equinox. It is a 2014 Chevy Equinox LT. It's a 2.4 liter, four cylinder front wheel drive. Has 104,666 actual miles. It was a new car dealer trade in to the Watson Chevrolet, uh, which is here in the Auto Mall, about a mile from where I'm standing. Um, we purchased it, drove it home, did our inspection. Not much to talk about. Uh, it's a nice little car. Uh, it needed a new battery and a detail, and it got both. Uh, I'm going to walk around the car. I will uh, point at stuff I see cosmetically. You might want to look at closer in the photo gallery. There's not a whole lot. I think I saw a ding somewhere on this car. I'm not sure where. It's a pretty, it's a really pretty car. But uh, if there's something wrong that we know about, we will tell you. Um, there are no secrets here. There is no uh need for that if there's something wrong there's somebody out there in the internet world will be fine with its imperfection um what's not okay is if we tell you something's right when it's not or exaggerate something and uh it ends up shipping to minnesota or the caribbean where we've sent cars and gets there and it's not what we said it was then we've got a problem and so if there is a problem we will tell you. My job in these videos really isn't to sell the vehicle. It's to give you all the facts and let you make your mind up yourself. Tires look like they're probably 50% eh, tread. See a little door ding right, right there, right, right there. There's a little scrape right here, a little ding. Let's open up the hatch. I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book and the Carfax here real quick. More information, the better, right? So there's 104,000 mile Equinox, uh, 2.4 liter, front wheel drive. Private party value is 10,779, so 10, 10, basically 10,8, with a range of 95 to uh, almost 12. Okay. Here is the uh, Carfax. There's your VIN. That's getting windy. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Basically, Carfax blends the Kelly Blue Book and the uh, Carfax together, its history, and they come up with a value of 10,620. Minor damage was reported 10 1 to 14 right front. When they say minor damage, that means it wasn't a car accident. Uh, they probably bumped into something and called their insurance agent and wanted, wanted it fixed. We don't see any evidence of any fix, but uh, I'm just reporting the news. So, whatever we find, we, get, we tell you, all right? So there's your VIN. This is the actual Carfax itself. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. God, I hate the wind. Uh, no, this is important. No major title problems. Obviously, that matters. Let's see. So, it was born 10, 12, 10 of 13. So he was in California. Uh, 10, 1 of 14. Damage reported to right front. Okay minor that's that and then the uh, owner started taking very good care of it mpg it's a nice little shop here in tucson doing all the very regular services oil changes etc we are at eighty-eight thousand miles ba -ba 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 -ba. this here valve cover replaced valve cover gasket replaced and 99,000, boom, then they traded it in. Simple as that. Uh, let's see, let's look underneath here. There's your tire and all your tools, right? I think I saw something back here. No, nope. maybe that was another car. I could have sworn I saw something somewhere, but maybe it was another car. I don't see anything on this side. I think it was a Ford Escape I'm thinking about. This seems really straight. There's a little scratch right there. Yeah, that's about it, cosmetically. All right, let me get this crap out of here. I need this in the video. Blow away, gets the fence over there. All right, let's fire this guy up. Let's see. 
close the door so you can see a little bit. Alrighty, I don't know, golly, the glare. 104,673 miles. Looks like it needs a little gas here pretty soon. Anyway, let me uh, walk around. We'll try all the door locks and all that crap. Window up and down, window up and down, window up and down, up and down. Let's see, mirrors, out, in, up, down, other side, out, in, up, and down, seat forward, back, up, down, seat back forward, and back, so it's got lumbar, that's out, that's in, got tilt wheel here, there's that, let's see, what else we got, door locks, Okay, let's see. Walk around a little bit more here. I don't know if that's a scuff or not. A couple little high speed rock chips. Not too bad. I said right front. I do see a little thing right here. I don't know. Doesn't look like they replaced it though. I don't see any evidence of any paint work. So they might have just bumped into something and then they reported it. But uh, yeah, I don't see any I don't see any paintwork here at all. Hood lines up perfectly and they kept it. So yeah, I don't see anything. Window down and up. Yeah, these seats are in great shape. There's all your manuals in here. Let's see. Looks like we have a USB and an auxiliary port down in here. Power down in here. Let's see if you want the seats to fold forward, you do that, right? Center console. God, these seats look like no one's been, it doesn't look like anyone's been to the back seat. Feels like uh, one of those salesmen who drive a lot of highway miles, that type of car. Just uh, too clean to have people, a lot of people in and out of it. Doesn't look like anyone's ever been back in the back seat at all, or even the passenger seat. All right, so we've already done all the switches here. All right, let me get this seat just a little bit. Get a seat belt on. All right. Radio, let's see. Our society is very sick, AM, but I source. don't divorce myself. Down. Change the station here. That's doing that. Volume up and down. Okay, and you, if you press it in, you get the source change, right? Press, change the source. That changes the station. We got the volume. All right, so that all works fine. What else we got going on here? Air conditioning. Bum, bum, bum. That's the fan all the way up. Temperature all the way down. Do, do, do. Configuration, info, back, favorites, phone. Clock. Oh. Let's see. If you want to go forward, so that's more. There you go. Alright. There you go. That's that. Cruise control off and on. That's on and that's off, right? Let's see. What else we got? We got lights. On each side. It does have OnStar right here, right? 
Boom. All right. Let's see. Oh, it also has an eco mode, so you can basically that adjusts the uh, uh, air conditioning and kind of feathers it a little bit. It doesn't really make that big a difference, but it, it does have it. So that's on, and that's that's on, and that's off. Okay. Then you got traction control. So traction control off, and then back on. All right, let's go for a ride. If you come to Tucson to drive this car home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price. There's no tax, there's no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive that wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, sign it off to you. We will scan it in your online file. We'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, you will have the uh, Equinox uh, shipped to you. Title will already be in your mailbox uh, before the shipper shows up with it. Once the shipper shows up with the Equinox, you take the title and the Equinox to motor vehicles and get uh, plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, please let me know early in the transaction. We can roll the price of the shipping into the uh, into the uh, total price of the vehicle, um, which may make it a little bit easier for you. Um, I can do the whole shipping thing for you. We can just give you some phone numbers to call and you can do it yourself, or you don't even need to call me. A lot of people know how to ship their own cars. They don't need any help at all. Uh, but if you do need help, let me know early so you can get your car quickly. It's a nice car and you're spending good money for it. Uh, let's get it there as quickly as possible, okay? Deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, we do not, the car will stay for sale. We do not hold vehicles without deposits, okay? Um, Last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I have for, well, since 2002, thousands and thousands of videos. Um, we uh, don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge with an attendant serving scones and lattes and sandwiches. We don't have a game room. Uh, we don't have a beautiful location with fountains and perfect pavement. In fact, our pavement out front is basically four-wheel drive pothole pavement. Um, our property costs a dollar a year. Our uncle owns it. He doesn't care. So it's a dollar a year. So you're not paying to go for our exorbitant rent. Then they're paying a fortune about a half mile east on this exact road. They're paying a fortune. Okay. Um, so every time they sell a vehicle, they've got to clear all those hurdles. The salesman commission, the lattes, the attendant, the game room, the location. They also know that if they sold you this vehicle and something breaks, whether it's small or big, you're gonna come in and say, I just paid a fortune for that car, I want it fixed. And you did pay a fortune, so they do fix it. But what they don't tell you is when they sell it to you, they also have five to $700 added into the price of the vehicle when they sold it to you there for future repairs. Even though they know that they probably won't have to fix it, they just don't wanna fix it with their money. <laughs> so they charge you more money for it, and you go in and buy it, and blah, blah, blah. You know, you get your latte and your salesman and you get, you know, the treatment for an hour and a half and you feel like a king and then you go home and you've got an overpriced car. And uh, if a window motor or an injector or whatever uh, goes wrong, uh, you'll go back there and they'll fix it for you. Well, they should because they made a zillion dollars, okay? Um, we, on the other hand, are different. We know you're saving a pound of money buying from us and we expect you to use the money you saved to fix your car whether it's day one or day 300, okay? Uh, we can't afford to sell these vehicles and then fix them after the sale. Um, it's a good car. We're not Nostradamus. We do not know when they're gonna break. Um, if we did, I, I would be richer than Bill Gates easily. Um, if I knew when vehicles were gonna break, which vehicles were not good vehicles, holy cow. <laughs> I would be the richest man on the planet easily quickly also and that says fuel level low and it is low so i guess the next guy's gonna have to worry about that um anyway the bottom line is we're not fixing your car when it breaks and every single car we have out here is going to break eventually you will be fixing it with the money you saved if you want to add an extra two thousand dollars to the price of the vehicle um then we will fix your car if it breaks all right um, but that's stupid because it's not going to break. Don't put it in a wash. Don't wreck it. Don't put it in a lake or, you know, abuse the crap out of it. And this thing will be beautiful for a long time. 
you know? There's your backup camera, by the way. Um, but we like people to know how we operate and why the vehicles are as inexpensive as they are. Um, it's because we don't have the bills they have, you know? So we don't have to make exorbitant amount of money just to break even. They do, okay? All right, I think I'm going to stop right about there. Anyway, this is a really, really, really nice car. Really cute, too. Uh, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.